Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. This time we're gonna go find the main first uh, maid. Well, wait, not, not not the first maid, excuse me. I should say, well, we're just gonna find the last E-10 something, you know, robot, whatever. I don't know what I'm trying to say here, but we're going back to the egg carrier the and another cutscene should happen. Yep. Units remaining. Just one. And I believe I have to fight it on top of the, um, egg carrier itself, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, it's off to the, to that place yeah, where you always fight Chaos Six. It's like the main boss area of the egg carrier, I swear. Oh, so, oh, oh Gamma, there we go. Oh, it's you! Oh, that looks quite like a pretty powerful beast beta. there, actually. Wait, no, be oh, Beta, oh, excuse me. What's wrong with me? Ah, oh, whatever. I'm just gonna stop trying to remember the, like, little details of the game and just stick with the gameplay. That's what I'm most best at. So, we're going off to the Chaos 6 area, and there's a loading screen just ruining the moment for everybody. And here's the boss, E101MK2. And, as you can see, it blasts away your, um, yeah, your shots just like so. Uh, he's always vulnerable after he does that dash thing, and that's basically how you have to hit him. Uh, this is the hardest boss of E-102's story, so let's do our best and avoid the missiles of death there. It's trying to get me, but it's failing miserably. There's the dash, now you can shoot him, and two more hits will take him down. I'm sorry, E-101MK2, but you're gonna be going down with the rest of them. So, I, I highly apo ow, I apologize for having to blow you up, but that's just how things go. Look out for explosions of death! Holy poopers! Uh, yeah, whenever the camera zooms out like that, you gotta get away from his blast, otherwise you're gonna get hit by the blast. It isn't a one-hit kill, but it still will knock all of your rings out of you, and it's kind of hard to dodge them if you get yourself stuck on, like, the edges of the screen. Like, I'm gonna... Woo! He always shoots where you are and not where you're going, so you shouldn't have any trouble dodging if you just move around the circle. And that last one is a big charge shot, which takes up half the whole dang screen, so uh, that one you especially have to look out for. And shoot him, shoot him, shoot him. Yeah, it's over. It's over. I am the master of all robots. You can't make a robot better than me. Oh, yeah. You can try to improve E101, but I'll take them down every time and turn them into a million robot scrap pieces. <laughs> oh, and yes, I know that I'm missing one of uh, uh, Gamma's pieces. Uh, you know, his one of his upgrades. I'll be getting that after the credits, most likely, like I always do. You know, with the extras. So be patient, and I'll get it probably in this part. Oh, no, it's... It's shaky uncontrollably, it's malfunctioning. Oh, but it just like did a little weird flip. And I always thought that was kind of weird. Just the way it just flops over. Ah! It still has fight left in Oh, I'm hit. Oh, don't get caught in the explosion. Run, E-102. Ah, gee. Ah, 102, you must survive. Birdie, help me! I've been shot! Call, call a robot ambulance! Oh! Oh! Fading! Light! My screen! It's failing! I need a new tube! Must... Oh! Keep moving! Oh, it's over. I'm down. And, uh, yeah. All the robots in the E-10 something series died. Yeah. All of them. It's kind of sad, really. His, his story is probably the saddest in the whole game. E-102's stories. I mean, you, you either kill your brothers or you get blown up yourself. That's just plain sad, in, in my book.
even the birdie sad for her. All of those are family. I, th I think it might be implying that those birds were inside those robots. You know, that uh, Eggman transformed those birds into robots like he does other animals and stuff like that. That's why the other robot appeared. And then another birdie came out of, uh, or at least it seemed like it came out of E-102. I could be wrong though, that's just the impression that I got out of the ending there. So, uh, yeah, here's the credits. We got some awesome music going on, some nice cutscenes, uh, slideshow thingy, whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah, credits for the sixth time already. And, uh, there's gonna be one more set of credits, too! Oh, boy! Yeah, there's, there's one more story that I've yet to do. And, uh, that unlocks when you complete every character's story 100%. You don't have to collect all the upgrades for the characters, you just have to beat this, the stories and get to the credits. So, yeah, one story left. I will definitely be getting to that in the next part after I get, you know, Gamma's upgrade here. Whenever I get around to that. Whenever the credits end, dang it! <laughs> How's it going, guys? Uh, nice weather we're having. It's becoming fall. The weather's becoming cooler and nicer. I'm tired of the hot summer weather. Dang it. Air conditioner's running all the time. It's getting annoying. It's... Ah, oh, I'm tired of the house being hot. I'd rather open a window and have nice, fresh, cool air rather than being stuck in stuffy hot house. The air conditioner helps, but not enough. I like the cold. I'm a person that likes cold uh, temperatures, personally. <laughs> I don't know why I'm getting into this during the credits. Maybe because I have nothing else to talk about in these credits. Because this is the sixth time we've seen the credits, and I've said that I have nothing to talk about in the credits. Well, I guess I could talk about the little slideshow that's going on. But I kind of talked about those things as we went. Like, as I at that cutscene that you've seen right there, I was talking about how E-102 uh, would, be, would be a great walkthrough because he's explaining what he's doing as he's going. But I think that's just automatic in his programming, and he doesn't have quite the versatility in, in commentary like humans do. But he could try being a walkthrough. I bet you he could program himself to do it if he wanted to. So we got a nice, beautiful sunset theme scene, whatever you want to call it, as we're going to kill another one of our brothers. You know, gotta kill him in the sunset. That's the most beautiful time you can do it. And maybe that was when I... Uh, no, that was just in Red Mountain. No, when something... Oh, there we go. There's the confrontation with the E-104, I think it was. Poor robots. It's so sad I had to blow them up to save them from Eggman, or at least as I said before, that's, that's the only explanation that I have from the story. So, uh, there's the Emerald, uh, Master Emerald. I don't know why he was there. I wasn't there the entire story. That was a completely unnecessary screenshot they added in there. But I was definitely at the Egg Carrier as well as the final Egg Base. And climbing up the hot shelter onto the gears and other good stuff. That was good times, I gotta say. I always like the hot shelter area. But it's a lot more fun with Amy, in my opinion, than E-102. Even though you've got that uh, awesome train ride, I still like the puzzle aspect with Amy. And the uh, avoidance of E-100. Yeah, that's the other name of Zero, by the way. Um, it, it just puts a lot of pressure on you to get those puzzles solved in time. Because, you, you know, you're, com you're completely defenseless against E-100, E-100, yeah, you get the idea. Well, at least that's just, that's just my opinion. And, uh, presented by Sega, and that's the end of the credits, so, uh, I think after we get to the Finn screen, I'm going to cut on over to, uh, where I'm gonna get his power-up, his, I should say his last power-up. I believe it's in the water containment facility on the egg carrier. So, hold on just a sec, please. Thank you very much. Alright, on to the Egg Carrier Adventure Field. Let's go find his last power-up, or at least I think his last power-up is here. If not, I'm gonna completely scrap this! Yay! 
Okay. Okay, so you go up on this thingy and you want to go back inside. Let me thank you very much, camera. And go up here, go all the way over to that area where the hot shelter is. There should be an area, something like the water containment okay. area or something like that, that uh, you can go and get a power up. Oh, and as long as I'm here, I should show you a glitch. But uh, I got to, um, I got to do some preparation for, or I should, I should say at least remember how to do the glitch again. It's a pretty funny glitch. This is why I want to show it to you, but it's not, it's not in here. It's on the outside of the egg carrier. So I'm looking for a door. Is this it? I believe this is the door. Let's go in here. And yeah, this is it. And here is his last power up and the last power up you will ever have to get for any character. Uh, basically, it, it doesn't describe very well how this thing works, but when you hold, I mean, when you lock on to something, um, and then you shoot a blast at an enemy, if there's a nearby enemy, like really nearby, it'll get blown up as well. Okay, now it's time to demonstrate the glitch. I gotta get out of here to do it though. Okay, time to demonstrate this glitch. Off to this side of the egg carrier, you're gonna see like there's the spring up there. Now get yourself in the mode change here. Let's just uh, go into the wheel mode like so, and now watch this. Normally, you're not supposed to be able to go over this border right here, but when you're in mode change, you can do so. And you can look at the rest of the egg carrier by doing this. Yeah, you can actually ride off. This is kind of weird, though, because, you know, it doesn't work properly. But you can ride off, like, into this water and stuff like that. You're not supposed to be here at all. Seriously. So you can take a look around here. And I, I'm pretty sure... Yeah, I just died there. <laughs> But yeah, you can also fall off at a certain point and uh, check out another spot. Like, you can go underwater somewhere. Um, let's see if I can do this here. Uh, it's back down this way. Let's try this one more time. Mo change, baby. There we go. And try and get into there again. Just roll right off the edge like so. And let's try and drop off here. Ah, oh, it failed again. But yeah, you, sometimes you can drop off and go underneath the ship and explore the thrusters and stuff like that. But it's pretty rare that you can do it. But So try it yourself. It's pretty fun. But every time you do that, you lose a life. Anyway, that is the end of E102's story. It's time to get over and do the last story. See you then.